Can you imagine a computer without an operating system? No, 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 there we fail ridiculously. No, I'm talking about this. Hi, my name is Sati Nadella from Microlost. I am here to present you our new computer operating system, the Broken Windows 11. This product will make your day-to-day -day work miserable. Its functionality is basically the same as Broken Windows 10, but we added some barely visible changes. And of course, tons of crapware apps that you will not be able to delete, you will hate, and you will never use. Even I can tell the difference. We totally understand that if you wanted Candy Crush Soda Saga, Age of Empires, or any Xbox game, you will have downloaded it yourself. But we put it in there, just in case. It will make your PC slower, yes, but it will also test your patience and perhaps it will get you to spend more dollars. We've also made sure that after you install our fast operating system on your old PC, it will become even slower. And even though broken Windows 7 worked just fine, we'll convince you to spend hundreds of dollars on our new operating system or in a new PC with our OS. This next generation of OS is more stable. Usually we get it right during our product development because we have a blue light guiding us. Whoa, hey, hey! Let's just forget about that annoying blue arrow screen that has decades in Windows. I mean, that appears from time to time in Windows because now it's black. So now you can see your own reflection, reminding you of the mistake you made when buying this product. And as you know, once you go black, you never go back. More stability means more updates. So speaking about updates, of course you will be getting our free updates with your new OS. We know they are very annoying and they come at very inconvenient times. But let's face it, the option to schedule updates just doesn't work. So make sure you apply your new update before a newer one comes out. And don't you worry, because broken Windows 11 will keep on restarting itself from time to time without your permission, because we love reminding you of how unpredictable life can be. All this mechanism is to make your PC more secure, especially since we know that you won't want to turn it off mostly because of fear that it may be updating when you really need to use it. Before I forget, I have to mention that this OS is very secure. Here at Microlust, we take security very seriously. This is why we have created a back door on your computer so we can watch hackers watching you. It is so secure that when you connect to the internet, your data might get encrypted from time to time. New threats like ransomware are responsible for this, not the vulnerabilities in our operating system. For your security, we have added an invisible layer of artificial intelligence and a next generation antivirus and firewall. Defender, which we have always been ashamed of. Humans can disable it, but viruses certainly can. Cortana, which please tell me we have some backup on this. Here at Microlust, we don't believe in privacy. This is why our team keeps endless hours figuring out why you have to open a browser to see ads. The truth is we always have you in mind. And this is why on our new operating system, the start button will be renamed Ad Launcher. Our mediocre algorithm will try to show you ads for stuff you will never buy. But now we have added biometrics to track your face, your expressions, your tone, your feelings, and sell you what you're really thinking of. Hey, what the hell? You don't have to test it on me. Oh, I hate this job. Here at Microlust, we think of everything. And when it comes to default browsers, we know what you definitely don't want. We know it's impossible to erase that sore taste that Internet Explorer left after 20 years of problems. This is why, in our new OS, we are changing the icon and we are changing the name so that future generations can experience the same feeling. 
on privacy and Cortana. Oh, no, I don't think we should talk about this. Oh, I have to? With every new OS, there comes the Bible-long privacy statement that you can actually find in our site, but that we know you won't read. Because let's be honest, there are more important things to do with your time. Basically, we collect all your activity and all your filthy conversations with that witch, Cortana. Hey! With this new OS, we have lower user data tracking to new levels. With our old OS, all the privacy settings were turned on by default because we know that the casual user will never notice privacy settings. Now, you don't even have an option. So please don't waste your time trying to turn them off. And one of the best things of our new operating system is that that witch Cortana can even sing if you order her to. I'm in a new place getting some new D, sitting on a new face. Okay, cause I know I'm the baddest bitch you ever really met. You search in for a badder bitch and you ain't met her yet. Or she can also play music. Which, play me some music. Sure, let me bing that for you. <laughs> and of course, it will take your searches to bing, not Google. Because we say so. But hey, it looks nicer. So we are not selling you the next generation OS, but we are selling you the feeling of owning something new and slower. But let's be honest, if we don't label it next generation, you probably will never shove money out of your pocket. So let us rip you off, like we always have. Financial, three, two, one, action. Can you imagine a computer without them? Hey, what's going on? Oh. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please, please share the video so we can have better locations. And see you soon.